Hey guys, Jay Boone down here once again with my pick of the day from Emerald City Guitars. Man, we really appreciate you guys watching these videos. I hope you have as much fun watching them as we do making them. And we're coming up on a year of doing our pick of the day. So woo woo, keep watching. Today I have a guitar that's really special to me and close to my heart. And it's probably one of the most recognizable guitars in rock and roll history. And yes, this is an original 1990 limited edition John Lennon model. So this is a 325 JL and they made 2,000 of these. This is number 1,226. Got it from the original owner. It's got the original paperwork in here, the certificate, the original Rickenbacker, polished cloth still in plastic. So just a killer example of this iconic rock and roll Rickenbacker guitar. So the, uh, the 325 JL is very unique. It's got the three toaster pickups here, the five knobs, the tremolo, and this little petite tremolo arm. I always love that thing, man. It's, it's really cool just to do little taps on and uh, very effective. If you look at the two layered pick guard here, uh, you can see the John Lennon signature and limited edition with John's caricature of himself. So this is a really lightweight guitar. It's a semi-hollow guitar. So we have chambers in this body and it's a three quarter length. So just a tiny little guitar to hold. And you know, they always called John the, well, they called him the fat beetle a couple of times, but he had a really little guitar. So man, if they called John the fat beetle, I can't imagine how big I look holding this little guitar, but it's just a really tiny little guitar, really fun to play, really easy to play. And of course, it makes you just want to spank out some Beatles songs on it. This has the jet glow finish, you can see, uh, otherwise known as black. The six individual Cluson style tuners here. Bridge cover. This guitar is just the whole package. It's, it's right there. And if you're a Beatles fan or a Rickenbacker collector or a collector of all things Beatles, this is a must have. This is just a really cool example, a really cool piece. And like I said, I got it from the original owner so it hasn't been passed around or doinked with at all. So this has the three position pickup selector switch on there and in the three pickup models, when this is down, you have your bridge pickup on. In the middle position, all three are on. And then on the up position, your neck and middle pickup are on. And those two pickups are wired together so they share a common volume and tone control. And then the bridge position pickup has its own designated volume and tone control. And then the fifth knob is yeah, allows you to get a, uh, a couple different variable tone and volume settings by using that in various positions. So kind of a cool deal. Really a versatile and unique sounding guitar. And of course, made in the Rickenbacker factory here in the USA. Comes with the original classic silver Rickenbacker case. I'm gonna run it through this very early 1964 Blackface Twin Reverb. This is a prime example of a very early blackface twin reverb. In fact, the transformers are, are dated late 63. So this is one of the first run of these pre-CBS models that they did. And it's in a really nice original condition. It's had a, a few of the caps changed, which you see often enough on these because they simply just get brittle and stop serving their function. So this should sound really great through this powerhouse amp which features the uh, vibrato and reverb in it. So we're gonna plug this thing in and see how she sounds.
So there you have it, folks. My pick of the day, an original one owner, 1990 Rickenbacker 325JL John Lennon limited edition, running through a very early original Fender 1964 twin reverb. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you all next time.